Maru are one of the oldest cultures in the world. 2,000 kilometres northeast of Perth is where their community is. They invited me to come and film them about four years ago. Sleeping out in the desert, underneath the stars, I happened to mention that I had been to Maralinga where Britain tested nuclear bombs in the 1950s. One of the women turned to me and said, you have to talk to Nyeri. Nyeri Morgan, a Madhu man, was walking around in the desert when Britain was testing nuclear bombs, before he had any contact with any other culture but his own. This complete collision with Western technology and one of the oldest cultures in the world. What he saw and how that impacted him, I think he'd been waiting his whole life to tell it. Because Neri lives remotely, I could carry this technology into him and he can send the story out. When we took that camera there, Nieri looked at that new device and said, it's got 16 eyes. I said, yeah, it's got 16 eyes and it's got four ears. I've worked in immersive technologies for many years. When I saw my first VR work, I thought, this is the technology I've been waiting for. This is more immersive than anything. That's incredibly powerful to place the viewer in relation to this community, to this man who wants to tell the story, and give a sense of place. Not just what it looks like in the desert, but what it feels like under that huge sky. The camera allows you to feel like you're in his home. Fundamentally, we've used the newest technology to talk about something which is ancient in this country. Maru's sense of stewardship, how you look after something for a hundred generations. That's what he wants to share. And I think he's happy that that's what is conveyed. <laughs>